tabby cats are one of the most classic looking domestic cats. Most likely because tabby cats are the most common. If you ask someone what type of cat they have, chances are high they say that they have a tabby cat. Let's get to know this popular kitty. This is Animal Life. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more awesome animal facts. In spite of the popularity of tabbies, many people still think the tabby cat is its own breed. Tabby cats are not a breed of cat. When speaking of the tabby in tabby cats, we are really talking about the color pattern of the cat's fur. The tabby color pattern is most commonly stripes, but can be a mix of stripes, swirls, and even spots. Every single domestic cat breed has the gene for the tabby pattern. The pattern can appear in many recognized breeds like Maine Coons, Abyssinians, Bengals, British and American Shorthairs, and many others. So, why is there an M on your tabby cat's forehead? A lot of tabby cats will have a pattern on their forehead that looks similar to the letter M. Several religions have stories about why tabbies have this marking. In Christianity, a tabby came to the manger to keep baby Jesus warm, so Mary marked him with an M as thanks. In Islam, a tabby cat named Musa once saved his master Muhammad's life by killing a snake that crawled up his sleeve. The scientific reason behind the M on the forehead of the tabby cats is simply down to genetics. The M, it seems, is written in the DNA. Tabby cats have four unique pattern variations. These include mackerel, blotched, striped, and ticked. All of these patterns look different, but the blotched pattern is the most typical. Blotched tabbies are known as classic or marbled tabbies. Tabby patterns are probably common because they are the most suited for the wild. These patterns help with camouflage when cats are hiding in tall grass or brush hunting for prey. Tigers and leopards both have tabby type patterns. Tabby cats were named for a striped silk made in Baghdad. The cats were compared with the silk, leading them to the name tabby. The silk is from the Atabi area in Baghdad, and the 14th century Middle French term for it was Atabis. That soon swapped to Tabis. This then translated into our English word, tabby. Orange tabby cats are almost exclusively male. This fact shows us that gender and coat color genetics are somehow interconnected, at least with orange tabby cats. Up to 80% of orange tabbies are male. Why? The gene that codes for orange fur is located on the X chromosome. As females have two X's and males are XY, this indicates that a female orange cat has to inherit two orange genes, one from each parent, whereas a male only requires one, which he inherits from his mother. Alternatively, most calico and tortoiseshell cats are female, with only about one in 3,000 being male. The town of Talketna, Alaska, had a special mayor, a 17-year-old orange tabby cat called Stubbs. Stubbs first got the vote as a write-in candidate in 1997, and has presided over the 900-resident town district till his death in 2017. Residents say they were quite content with his leadership, and that he was perhaps their best mayor, ever. They also say they enjoy that he never raised taxes. The initial tabby fur pattern most closely resembles that of the African wildcat and European wildcat. These small wildcats can track their respective ancestry back as far as 131,000 years. However, the first domesticated cats came only about 10,000 years ago. Scientific researchers say that even now there is very little genetic or appearance differentiation between the domestic tabby cat and its closely linked wildcat cousins. One thing you'll never see is a tabby with a solid orange coat. For some reason, orange tabbies will always have some type of pattern in their coat. The macro one, especially, makes them appear quite similar to little tigers. And interestingly, domestic house cats and tigers share about 96% of their DNA. True to their cartoon mascot Garfield, orange tabbies often enjoy eating, so much so that leaving their food out all day, a freedom that many cat owners enjoy, can end in a big cat, and big problems. Just like in people, obesity in cats has been connected with all kinds of health problems, including feline diabetes, cancer, and joint damage. 
A healthy cat diet is essential for orange tabbies. Want more awesome cat facts? Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single video. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. And as always, we'll see you next time.